Battle of Mill Creek reenactment has been going strong since 2005, and organizers and participants alike were up with the bugle call this morning, setting the stage for our area's most famous Civil War battle. With the low-hanging fog steadily lifting from the battlefield, visitors on hand could see into the valley below a number of encampments, tents, and reenactors readying themselves for day one of the three-day event. Everything from blankets, uniforms, tents, everything going. The North, all these soul machines being made in the North about the same time the Civil War came on. So, what did it do? They're all up in the North. At Audiology Associates of Prestonsburg, you can live your life the way you want and find the freedom of better hearing. With 40 years of being in the hearing care industry, you'll experience patient care that is specific to you with exceptional follow-up care that ensures your hearing and balance needs are being met. Audiology Associates at 1428 North Lake Drive in Prestonsburg. Some newer additions to the reenactment this year include the father of the modern day circus enacted by David Harrington, who hopes to highlight how the form of entertainment existed during wartime. My purpose here is basically to inform the public about the history of P.T. Barnum and the circus and its involvement in the Civil War and how the circus actually evolved due to the Civil War and the technologies that were advanced during the conflict. Friday is generally set aside for area students who travel from around the region to get a look at history coming alive. This place is about history, like what happened back in a long time ago about the Civil War. This place is where a real war happened, the Civil War. And basically every Friday, well not every Friday, we come here on a field trip to see what it was like back in the Civil War. President of the Friends of Middle Creek, Patrick Davis, says the event is going as strong as ever, having only been canceled twice due to COVID since it began 19 years ago. Well, this year we're, uh, we're doing much of the same. We're just trying to put on our, uh, our annual reenactment. We are uh, we're currently working on our school day, which involves having elementary and uh, some, some older kids come out from the community. We have different stations where they can learn about historical life, they can learn about how soldiers lived. We have somebody who's going to teach them uh, how the sewing machines used to work back in the day. And we have a couple of new stands where people are going to talk, learn about horse pack librarians and circuit riding preachers. The reenactment will be Saturday and Sunday, and not only will the reenactors be there staging the war, but there's also a lot of other interesting things going on, such as a P.T. Barnum lookalike with all of his circus folks. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Sheldon Kepton.